While it seemed that the secret society had disbanded, Guerrilla Grodd, in reality, expanded the organization by recruiting skilled villains, mirroring the formation of the Justice League. The result? The Legion of Doom, a dark and complex entity where members had the freedom to pursue their own agendas, whether in heists or other criminal enterprises, with the option to call upon the organization in case of superhero intervention. But everything comes at a cost, and the standard fee for such service was 25% of the gross earnings of the mission in question. Conflicts between Legion members and the Justice League were frequent, but they skillfully kept the existence of the organization in the shadows, away from the League's knowledge. Behind the scenes, Guerrilla Grodd led the Legion until Lex Luthor seized command. The coup was accepted without verbal objections, especially after Grodd attempted to turn all of humanity into apes, including the Legionnaires themselves. However, Luther's obsession with resurrecting Brainiac hindered his leadership skills. When he took the Legion's headquarters into space in a last desperate attempt, a rebellion led by Guerrilla Grodd formed. Loyal members to Luther included Atomic Skull, Bizarro, Cheetah, Evil Star, Giganta, Heat Wave, Sinestro, Dr. Destiny, Star Sapphire, Toy Man, and Volcana. Meanwhile, Grodd's supporters were Blockbuster, Shade, Helgramite, Copperhead, Key, Electrocutioner, Goldface, Killer Frost, Neutron, Parasite, Rampage, Silver Banshee, Fastball, Weather Wizard, Monocle, KG Beast, Lady Lunar, Dr. Cyber, Crowbar, Major Disaster, Angle Man, Bloodsport, Merlin, and Tala. An epic battle unfolded within the structure, and Luther, in an act of force, sent Grodd into the vacuum of space, crushing the rebellion. With the surviving mutineers before him, Luther, ruthless, questioned why he should spare any of them. In an unexpected move, Killer Frost betrayed her allies by freezing them, earning herself a pardon. However, events took an unexpected turn when Luther resurrected not Brainiac but Darkseid, resulting in Tala's death. In an act of destruction, Darkseid annihilated the hall with everyone inside. The assault was not as successful as he expected, Sinestro and Star Sapphire managed to protect their allies, although those already frozen by Killer Frost perished. The fate of Luther's supporters not shielded by Sinestro remains uncertain. The remaining members of the Legion made it back to Earth in time to warn the Justice League of Darkseid's imminent invasion. Together, they fought off Darkseid's hordes. Luther himself confronted Darkseid with the anti-life equation, resulting in their absorption into the Source Wall. In the aftermath of the battle, what was left of the Legion received a five-minute head start from Batman. And so, the visible and fleeting members of the Legion vanished on the horizon, leaving behind a story of betrayal, twists, and a legacy that would echo in the shadows of the universe. With that said, Thank you for embarking on this journey through the intricacies of the Legion of Doom. Until next time, where new stories await to be unveiled in this vast universe of heroes and villains.